Climate change and environmental degradation are an existential threat. Our planet Earth and everything in it is at stake if we don't drastically cut back on emissions. That's why both governments and companies all across the globe are setting ambitious targets to become carbon neutral or even negative. And although there are many ways to get to zero, transforming mobility is a key priority. The sector is still overwhelmingly reliant on fossil fuels, but offers plenty of opportunities. The global surge of battery electric vehicles is already gradually flattening the curve for light duty vehicles, but we need an extra game changer for other types of mobility. Luckily, one technology has the potential to be exactly that. First used by NASA in the 60s to power space capsules, hydrogen fuel cells have come a long way. The basic principle is still the same. Hydrogen fuel cells generate electricity, heat and water from the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. What has changed, however, is the scale at which the technology is now applied and how it serves different sectors. Qualities of hydrogen fuel cells include the light weight, short refueling time and limited maintenance needs making them ideal for numerous mobility purposes and opportunities. This trend greatly benefits our environment, mainly when we talk about green hydrogen. First, green hydrogen is produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen with strictly renewable energy sources, a process that's called electrolysis. Second, green hydrogen is a fuel that doesn't emit any carbon dioxide when it's used to power fuel cells. And green hydrogen has the potential to become a commodity fuel, just like diesel and gasoline. Let's take a closer look at how fuel cells work. Every fuel cell consists of two electrodes, a negative electrode, anode, and a positive electrode, cathode, which are both wrapped around an electrolyte. Hydrogen molecules enter the anode, the anode catalyst separates the hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons. The protons and electrons then travel to the cathode via different paths. The protons pass through the membrane, where they unite with oxygen and the electrons to produce water and heat. The electrons go through an external circuit, generating electricity to power numerous applications. But did you know that the huge potential of electrolysis and PEM fuel cells largely depends on the nano-sized particles in catalysts? These are made of platinum or other precious materials to boost range performance and durability. The benefit of using nanoparticles in catalysts is that they have a relatively large surface area in relation to the amount of required material. That way, only a minimum of the scarce material is needed. The downside, however, is that the quality of conventional catalyst materials for electrolysis and PEM fuel cells can vary greatly. This is already true for small-scale production, but if you think in metric tons instead of grams, like Umacore does, maintaining particular properties is particularly challenging. So, we pull out all the stops to provide top-quality catalyst materials on an industrial scale. We gather intel from different sources to enhance our vast expertise in the automotive industry. We constantly optimize our processes to ensure complete stability, batch after batch. We offer different catalysts and additives to a variety of customers. We prioritize full in-house quality control with state-of-the-art equipment. We leverage 30 years of practical experience in PGMs and fuel cell technology. We make a difference with our closed-loop circular approach, ensuring maximum sustainability. We believe that mobility can only truly be clean when the material loops are closed, and Umacore is a leading player in making that happen. Today, we dare to say that our materials are a global benchmark, delivering qualified, large-scale, customized PEM catalysts to major OEMs and MEAs, enabling a hydrogen fuel cell revolution. Mind you, fuel cell technology is still very much under development 
and we'll all need to clear some major hurdles, such as eliminating legal barriers, investing in adequate infrastructure, upscaling hydrogen production, facilitating standardization, and optimizing recycling opportunities once the market takes a clear direction. But if we are serious about clean mobility, these are non-negotiables. The undeniable benefits make hydrogen fuel cells ideal to complement batteries in the coming decades. But, as you know, time is not on our side. We need to act now, and we're determined to lead by example. Are you 